Stop me if you heard this one before. Florida State lands a new player out of the transfer portal alongside Michael Langston, senior recruiting analyst, senior portal analyst for Warchant.com. My name is Tom Lang. You are watching a brand new transfer commitment <laughs> video. Florida State into the double digits. If they're not officially, they're basically there. This in the form of running back Roydell Williams from the University of Alabama. Go figure. Florida State and Alabama have uh, been crossing paths a few times this week, and they do once again, Michael, for this running back, a veteran running back at that coming to Tallahassee. Yeah, the storylines write, se- write themselves sometimes, guys. Uh, you know, uh, already got an Alabama offensive lineman, now got a talented running back in uh, Roydell Williams. You know, earlier on, uh, you know, Saturday, we, we showed he- him arriving. Um, this kid's big, by the way. He's got a big frame, uh, you know, as far as that, probably like five foot. 10, probably 215, I would say. And he was greeted by Yak and uh, his custom made, by the way, vest, it looked like uh, that Yak had uh, special, I guess, for that day. But um, certainly a big commitment. That was the position they wanted to add one more after losing Rodney Hill. I think uh, they wanted to add a, a talented guy that kind of fits their, their room. And I've heard a lot of positive things, not only just his talent, but also the fit inside, you know, that would be in the locker room that he is a born leader, really good leader. So I think that kind of fits kind of what we've seen from a lot of the running backs that that Yak has in that room. And uh, this kid certainly, you know, fills those uh, characteristics, really a power guy, really good after initial contact. I think that's kind of what they were searching for, you know, to kind of, um, you know, replace what they would have had uh, with Rodney Hill and certainly Trey Benson departing. So I think uh, they certainly want to bring a guy that brings more power because you have, you know, the kind of you know, all-purpose guy that just does everything in Toa Philly. Then you have Kaziah who's really good between the tackles. And then if you add a power guy, I think that really completes kind of what they're looking for in their circles. And then you also have young guys like Singleton uh, that can certainly, uh, you know, step in there and, and make some plays. So, I think uh, now their room is, uh, you know, kind of the icing on the cake at running back you know, with getting Roy Dale. Michael, this makes me so happy in general. Like, <laughs> first of all, I see high school Huey Town, and I'm thinking, oh, that's been that's been a good high school to Florida State over the years. Yeah, specifically for one player above all else. Uh, but I'm thinking about the way that they're building this team. So, you know, Ferguson commits to Florida State. He's 300 plus pounds. Florida State looking to beef up on the offensive line. You've got a giant human being at quarterback for Florida State now. You've got a player like this that can mix with Kaziah Holmes, with freshman Cam Davis. Mm -hmm. Michael, they're getting tougher and tougher. They want to beat you up and bully you. I think they are adding speed. Don't get me wrong, but they're building a lot of beef at all different positions. They're getting bigger and stronger as a football program. Yeah, and they're in they're kind of evolving of of what fits their room, you know, as far as uh, you know, the talent and they have got a, I mean, I can't explain enough. They have got a not just the guys that are already there, but they have got a lot of talent that they're inserting in the, into this program that is going to be uh, you know, some crazy uh, you know, battles when we watch uh, you know, the practice out there and they get ready for the season for the upcoming season, they are really adding some dudes, as I like to say, uh, they got some serious dudes in there. Um, talent wise, I think it's, it's, it's going to be up there with anybody uh, as far as matching. There might be teams that have more high level explosive guys, but I think FSU can match just about anybody as far as the overall talent that they're bringing in and, and they're addressing all the major holes. I think the only hole that we're waiting on is the linebacker position, but I think the other places, I think we're seeing, you know, some movement of just about, you know, every spot. And I did not anticipate, I thought, yeah, it's going to be hard to hit on all those things, but so far yeah. majority of them they've hit on. And, and certainly the running back position is one that they really circled that they really wanted to nail. And this, this was the guy that the moment he went into the portal, this is a guy that I I'd heard. I've been waiting to see kind of what guys are going after. There was Jaquavius Marks who ended up at Southern Cal there was a few others, uh, Penny Boone, who ended up at Louisville. But, you know, this is the one where it's the only time I'd heard, like, once this guy came out, the sole focus was on Wardell. So uh, I think there's a history with him and uh, FSU running backs coach David Johnson. I think this is a guy that they've taken time to know, like, hey, you know what? This guy fits everything we want. And uh, I think it's just a, a strong addition. 
This is a player who ran for over 500 yards for Alabama last season. In general, he's over 1,000 for his career. He's listed as a senior on Alabama's website, is Roy Dale Williams. More of a running back than a pass catcher. At least that's the way they played it offensively this year. Right. 11 catches for Roy Dale, but a ton of carries, five touchdowns, 500-plus yards. This is somebody that you insert into the rotation right away. So, Michael, I've got Roy Dale up on the screen, but I just want to project forward a little bit for Florida State. You know, last year they added a couple of pieces in the spring window. Most notably uh, was Keon Coleman, and that right. did wonders for Florida State's yes. offense. Outside of obvious players like that, you know, if you're going to take a shot at any position, if you could find the the Keon Coleman equivalent of defensive end or whatever position that you want to insert, where do you think Florida State's going to attack? You know, the linebacker, of course, we get that. But, you know, either towards the end of this window, an extended window with Alabama or perhaps Washington or the spring window, anywhere else besides the obvious need at linebacker? Uh, I think they, they certainly want to add another defensive tackle. Um, you know, that's one where I feel like they're going to add one there. I think uh, as crazy as it sounds, they might add another edge. I just think they're really – I get the impression they're really overloading that position where it was kind of – it reminds me a lot of defensive tackle last year where you didn't need a Daryl Jackson, but you went in there and you got him anyway to get an extra. And, and I think that's that's the feeling I get with this edge position that they really – want to knock it out of the park. They want to have competition. They want to have guys they can rotate and feel like they have, you know, a solid rotation. And I think uh, they feel pretty good about that position. I think that's the position they've, they've really nailed hard. And, um, you know, so I, I would say those two positions, I do think, you know, a receiver for experience and big body receiver in, in maybe may is something I think they'll look into because that's, they have the speedy guys. They have, you know, Malik Benson's got some size to him when add speed too. And then certainly Jalen Brown is fast, you know, fast slot guy, but I think you would like a big body guy. And if the right guy comes in there, I do think it'd be an experienced guy. It doesn't make much sense if it's not an experienced guy for me. So I think that's kind of, those are kind of the positions. I think uh, when we talk about what's left and what they can get. Uh, that's probably the other thing too. It, it, let's not focus on this just yet. I'm not trying to bring us there, Michael, because we're, we're about time needing uh, needing a break. You know, we, we love the transfer portal tracker. Go to shop.cummins.com. Use code tailgate. You can see it right there on the screen. You can make your savings happen. But there's going to be an export market for Florida State too coming out of spring. There'll be some kids that show up exactly to practice. They're going to battle. They're going to see. Oh man, I can't climb past these four dudes. I got to go play somewhere else. So this is a fluid situation, but Michael, if you're going to give a letter grade to Florida State, what they've done so far in the portal, I can guess what it might be, but what letter grade would you give FSU? Uh, you'd have to say uh, for me, uh, you know, a B plus because you still have the linebacker position. Obviously, if I think if they added one, I guess technically you could say they add one with DJ Lundy, but um, but I, I, I'd give it a B plus maybe almost right there on the edge of a minus, but uh, I think uh, without the linebacker position, that's still, you felt like there's work to do, but B plus as far as uh, really attacking the, the edge of what they needed, getting a really special teams demon and Jalen Lucas, which they don't have. They haven't had somebody that is special teams quality, the what level of what he is um, getting a really talented, uh, explosive uh, defensive tackle, uh, you know, similar to what he does skill wise uh, to a Braden Fisk, uh, Obviously, Braden's a little more defined, but uh, I think uh, just adding those positions, what you need, and then really a, nailing down uh, some very good talent at receiver. I think you did that. And the most importantly, you get your quarterback uh, in DJ. So I think B-plus for me because of what they've done so far. There's still work to do, but I, I think overall uh, they've nailed it. Uh, obviously, got a very talented safety in Earl Little. I think one that can really that has a lot of high skill set in, in Devontae Brown that they can figure out the right place for him. Um, so I think overall you have to have it a pretty high mark so far. Just uh, there's still uh, work to do to finish with that, you know, that linebacker position. And in this day and age of college football, it never ends. You know, Florida no. State got good news this week in the head coaching ranks. So there's stability there. You can breathe easy there. But for all the developments in between now, spring camp, spring window, there's going to be more. I, I, you can feel it. You can feel it. There's going to be some more activity. Head over to warchant.com. Head over to the premium recruiting board where Michael Langston resides. And Michael Langston gives you all of the details yeah. blow by blow. For the big news, of course, subscribe to Warchant TV. It's absolutely free. Hit the like button underneath the video. Florida State football got better again today. And they got better at the expense of Alabama again today with running back Roydale Williams. For Michael, I'm Tom. We'll talk to you next time. 
on Warchant TV.